Alright, I'm going to be playing Terraria with only using the summoning class. You probably want something to be different. I mean, there's thousands of these on YouTube. Well, the difference is, is I'm an idiot and don't know anything about the summoning class. So let's see how this goes. As soon as I enter the world, I start chopping down trees while giving Smokey the Bear the finger. And then I begin building my house. While I'm building a house, I will explain some of the rules for this challenge. I can only use weapons that deal summoning damage. And, but I can use my pickaxe and axe, however. And this is purely because how long it takes me to get my first summoning item, so you know. I decided to explore a little left before realizing that that's downtown. And then downtown they have robbers, rapists, and serial killers. And we ultimately want none of that. So I decided to march my little happy ass away from there. I decided to go right instead. There was nothing inside this cave, but what we need to be looking for is a living wood tree that has living wood chest, and then those that have a 33.33% chance of having a finch staff, which is pretty low. I explore more right to find some cactuses, which I'm gonna use to make cactus armor. Silly me, I didn't bring any recall potions, so a group of zombies helped me find my way back home, which was just so helpful. I begin work on the elevator before I get sidetracked and go to a different cave where a group of zombies reminded me I have no way back up my elevator so they offer me a ride back up via death. I went out looting and found a bunch of useless items I will never need. I decided to go out exploring some more and I found two vultures who haven't eaten in two weeks and decided that they didn't want any more scraps. They wanted a whole meal. But I wasn't going to let them have it, so I decided to drown myself rather than giving myself up to them. What a wonderful day this is! Since those vultures decided to bring me back to my house, I decided to work on it a bit so I can get the zoologist. The zoologist only comes if I've done 10% of the bestiary, and she will be very useful as she sells me a leather whip that deals 14 damage, and considering my axe only does 1 damage, it's pretty good. I decided to go back through the crimson because at the end of it there might be a living tree which will very greatly benefit us but as going through the crimson I noticed something past this little green field here there's actually an ice place and the ice place can give you Fink's fur which you make Fink's fur coat and a Fink staff of course I didn't know about this so after exploring the cave I simply left I don't even think I saw or killed a single flinx. After exploring a little more left, I eventually found some living wood trees. None of them had the finch staff in it, but then I decided the last place to find these trees at would be on the right side of the map, so I quickly headed off into that direction. While exploring right, I entered into a bad neighborhood, and as soon as I got out the bad neighborhood, I entered into a worse neighborhood, where I instantly got defeated by three jungle bats they were bloodthirsty and ready to suck me dry and i know what you're thinking but those were bees shut up with the left side of the map not having a finch staff and the right side of the map being too dangerous to get one i decided on an idea i needed to get abigail's flower abigail's flower spawns next to gravestones but has a very low chance of doing so it's a summoning weapon that is pretty weird the more times you use it, the more damage it does, and it increases damage when you enter into hard mode. So, and the only real re way to grind for it, you know, fucking words, is to die over and over again, which as you can tell, I was pretty good at. Grinding for this item took a while, so while we wait, let's look at Xbox reviews. This is not sponsored at all. The game we're looking at is Jackbox Party Pack 8. This game. This game. After my wife left me for my brother-in-law again, I never thought I'd be happy again. Still broken inside, but this is all I have to numb the pain. Overall, great experience, 10 out of 10. My cousin divorced me and this game is all I have left. It lifted me from the dark places of my mind and saved my wrenched soul. God bless, Jackbox Party Pack 8. After my step-grandma left me for her cousin, I had nothing left to live for. However, I found a new love and appreciation for life. After playing this game, I am infatuated with this game. Every aspect of my life rotates back to this game. I am Jackbox, and Jackbox is me. After my horse left me for my wife, I fell into a deep depression, a darkness from which I thought I would never escape. 
I tried anything to bring just a smidge of happiness into my life. Therapy, meds, animal waste identification, weighted blankets, but none of it helped. But then I found Jackbox 8 and became so happy. It changed my life. Now I'm remarried and we have two beautiful little girls. I also found a horse, but I'm afraid of getting too close and having my heart broken again. Luckily, I always have Jackbox 8 if it does. After an hour and a half of AFK work, I got Abigail's flower. And now all I need left is to get the leather whip from the zoologist. Next, I decided to build an AFK farm, which will be very useful in the future against pirate invasions, goblins, and solar eclipses. After grinding for hours, I got the leather whip and I was ready to spank the Eye of Cthulhu into submission. Just to make my day a little worse, a second Eye of Cthulhu decided to show up. I noticed that neither I Cthulhu dropped the loot bag, which means my world is actually in casual mode and I forgot to switch it to expert. So now I have to bring my character into a new world on expert mode and refight the boss. My day is going well. I made sure this time that the world was on expert mode. Then I began building my new house. The Eye of Cthulhu is going to be much harder to fight this time around, so I need to become better prepared. I need the Flink's Fur Coat, which come from Flink's Fur Balls, and I'm not gay, but one extra minion is one extra minion. Before I could pull a Cruella and get that fur coat, the Eye of the Cthulhu decided to spawn in. I didn't use any buffs for this fight. The game didn't want me to have the dignity of dying to him at half health, they wanted me to wait till he had just a slither of health before butt fucking me. So now I have to go back and finish getting that fur coat I dreamed of having. After a while of grinding, I got enough Flink's fur for the coat. However, one of the crafting ingredients is tin silk, and that needs to be crafted within the loom. Luckily, there's a living wood tree nearby that has a living wood loom in it. Get this, after going across the entire map to get the living wood loom, it turns out that the living wood loom cannot be used to craft silk. Meaning, I need to find an ordinary loom, and I have no idea how to craft this item, and I think the only way of getting it is via one of the abandoned houses in the caves. There's no time to waste as the next boss battle begins.
After not one but two Y Cthulhu's asses were grazed by my leather whip, they decided that they weren't into that and they left. And now the only thing I have to worry about in my world is the Eater of Worlds, which I will be doing in the next episode because I don't feel like doing it right now.